there and today we've got a disappointing makeup products video so I'm just going to get straight into the saltiness I feel a bit bad because I've got my festive situation going on back there but when a product's bad you have to let everybody know so that I mean they don't fall into the crappy product trap I mean really okay so I have discussed a few of these before and if you've watched my channel you'll probably be familiar with me not liking these products the first one was probably my biggest disappointment ever like literally ever this is the it cosmetics cc cream i really wanted to love this and i still really want to love this but for some reason it just does not work on my skin i find that it's super dewy which believe me i'm all for like super dewy like the the two words super dewy is like they're like my favorite two words ever so well apart from butt cheek i like the words butt cheek i just think butt cheek that's great but this just didn't work for me it just felt like it felt like it never really set down it looks patchy I, i've tried using like a lot i've tried using a little bit i've tried mixing it with other products it just fecks them up guys i mean i love the smell of this but that's about all i love i love the packaging the packaging's cute but the actual product itself which let's face it that's what is the important thing it just didn't work for me and i just don't know why because everybody their neighbor their podiatrist midwife like everybody loves this but my skin does not and on to another product that everybody seems to love but i just do not is the laura mercier translucent setting powder i just find that this powder is actually quite thick like i don't feel like it's that finely milled for a setting powder and i feel like i'll do my makeup and i'll be thinking oh yes i'm happy with that it looks great and then i'll apply this on top and all of a sudden my face just seems to look dull and it looks a bit cakey and it's this pecking powder i just don't know like what all the hype is about i know that everyone's skin is different and this is why makeup is so subjective because we all have different skin types and we all have different preferences as to what we like but for me this did not work i definitely wouldn't recommend it i would definitely say save your money like on a setting powder get the one by maybelline i've not tried but it's meant to be wicked like if you want just a really good setting powder you could get the ben nice super affordable make a revolution do some really good loose setting powders for me this didn't work if you love it then that's great holla 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 to you i just i'm so happy for you but for me my skin said not today satan not today when i go near it with this product okay so next we have a founded liation that i recently did a review on it's the l'oreal true match mineral founded liation i didn't like this i don't have any idea to this day how to get this to work because it just left my face looking like i hadn't done anything to it i couldn't seem to get any kind of coverage with this and for a product that is actually like a mineral powder it actually made me super oily like by the end of the day i was like an oil slick and i don't know how that works because this is a powder foundation so why do i get oily i don't know are you meant to set a powder foundation or a mineral foundation because i didn't know so i just went like a rebel didn't set it and ended up in oil town i mean literally i was in oil town deep in oil town anyway this one didn't work for me i know that it's worked for a lot of people um and again as i said earlier makeup is just subjective and I, I just couldn't seem to get anything from it you know like with other foundations that i try and i don't like they at least do something whereas with this i just couldn't get it to actually make an appearance like it just didn't even seem like it was there Okay, so next we have a, a blush by nyx this is in the shade taupe and i bought this because i'd heard a lot of fair-skinned people recommending it as being a really good contour shade because it's kind of like a cool toned brown or taupe i can't get this to work this is so intense like the shade of it is just way too dark for me like look at that and i believe that nikki tutorials uses this and i feel like she's even got fairer skin than i have 
And also John McLean uses this and he's the fairest of the fair. So I don't know why I can't get this to work. Maybe I just don't have the kind of contouring blending skills that they have. I mean, I definitely don't. I know that for sure. But I've tried and I've tried and I've tried again and it was just a fail like every single time. So yeah, unfortunately, like I cannot get it to work. It was the same thing with the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Again, that just wouldn't seem to blend out on my skin. It just would not work. Okay, so next we have a super expensive product. This is probably one of the most expensive makeup products that I own. I think it actually is. It's by Hourglass and it is their Luminous Light Bronzer. I bought this after seeing Shanex so use it and it just looks so beautiful because it's not your typical matte kind of bronzer. It's got a lot of shimmer to it um, and it does look beautiful. I've tried a couple of Hourglass's um, setting powders and I just loved them and I thought that this would be a really good purchase because I didn't really have a bronzer that, that I was in love with and I just figured well how could I go wrong with this very wrong I was very wrong if you can see on my finger it almost looks kind of orange it's very orange it goes very fecking orange on my skin um if I just do a little swatch can you see that and Hourglass have two different kind of shades of this bronzer out. They've got the Luminous Light, which is the lightest, and they've got a darker one. This is the lightest one, and look at that. And it's super, super orange. It just looks like an Oompa Loompa when I wear this. Um, it just, I don't know, I can't get it to work for me. There's been times in the past when I, I thought I liked this, but looking back, I think that I was just so desperate to like it because... I paid so much for it. I I don't know. I was I was in denial. I was fooling myself, but I've just come to the conclusion now. This doesn't work for me. It was just an awfully thought out purchase. And I mean, when I think about all of the fabulous drugstore products that I could, could have got for the price of this, it just makes me so sad. Okay, so once again, we have another product that seems to be loved by the majority of people, but not by Picky Anwen. No, no, no. She's very sassy. Nothing works for Anwen. But this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. Again, I believe that Shanexo got me into this. I'm not going to trust any of her recommendations anymore. But she did a first impression on this and she said it was beautiful and it looked beautiful on her. And I'm sure that she did love it. But for me, it didn't work. And I paid to get this shipped over from Sephora in America. It cost a lot of money to get this. And the level of disappointment was, was through the roof. I mean, literally, it was this on par with the hourglass through the fecking roof. It's obvious the more money you spend on a product, the more disappointed you're going to be when it doesn't work. To me, this is just a very basic foundation. It didn't do anything like particularly special. It didn't look particularly fabulous. I was under the impression that this was going to be like a very pretty, luminous, but full coverage foundation. On my skin, it just looks so basic. Like it looks to be quite dull. It doesn't even seem to be medium coverage so I don't know why I was thinking it was a full coverage and it just doesn't wear very well like whenever I've worn this and believe me I've tried I've tried I've tried I've tried I've tried unlike the hourglass bronzer there's been no point in my tumultuous is that the word tumultuous I'm making stuff up now but there's been no point when I've liked this every single time I've used it I've just thought And, and it doesn't end there. I do not like the dropper. This is the most ill thought out situation ever. It just takes hours to actually get the product on my face. I think they thought they were being super like clever, but they weren't. That's just affects me off every single time. Okay, so next we have a product that I recently did a first impression of in my part two of testing, no, it was part one. Yeah, part one of testing Essence makeup. This is the False Lash Mascara. I actually really like the look of this. It made my lashes look brilliant. But I noticed that as the day went on, I was getting like little black spots like under my eyes. And I was thinking, what, what is this? What's going on? Are my eyelashes falling apart? And it was from the mascara. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but I found it to be like very flaky and I've actually never had a mascara flake on me before. I've had plenty of guys flake on me before, but never a mascara. Um, I expect a lot 
for my mascara, you know. And this one, although it looked beautiful, it just didn't last well. So I will not be using this one again, which is a shame because it did look really, really good. Okay, next we've got a liquid lipstick from Primark. I tried this out in my testing Primark makeup video. It's the Super Matte. Um, formula and this is in the shade Kim. The shade of this is just supremely beautiful. It's like a peach toned nude but this is one of those horrific liquid lipstick formulas that just makes your lips as dry as a nun's vagina. You know I've said it before and I'll say it again. It made my lips look probably like 50 years older than they are. They just looked cracked. They looked just not very attractive and I was not down with it. So although this was super affordable and I'm a huge fan of Primark makeup in general, I just can't recommend the Super Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I don't know if it's just the shade because it is such a light shade. I don't know if maybe like the darker shades would look a bit more forgiving. I don't know. Please let me know if you've tried any of them uh, because I would be keen to know and I may buy a darker shade just to test test it out you know maybe give them one more chance I'm all for giving giving more chances okay and just to finish off I have a lipstick this is by Maybelline and it's one of their um color sensational I think it's one of the bold bold color sensational lipsticks that comes in like a royal blue kind of tube this is a shade that I've been dying for for ages because they released it in America months before they released it here which is the way with most things by the way we still don't have Pro Glow by L'Oreal over here I don't think we're ever getting it it's such a shame but anyway this is in the shade Gone Grage and it is an absolutely beautiful shade and it looks beautiful on the lips but the only problem is right it could do with being a bit more opaque like it can look a bit patchy and also I find that it just doesn't wear very well it doesn't seem to last that long and it's a real shame because I generally do like Maybelline lipsticks I think that for the most part they're really really good but this one was very disappointing because I'd waited for it for so long the shade of it is so perfect but the actual formula just it wasn't quite right for me it wasn't good enough I didn't like it. Feck that. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this salty, disappointing video. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I will have another AliExpress version coming up soon because there's been so many disappointing products and there's been so many brilliant products, but a handful of disappointing products from AliExpress. So I hope that you're having a great day. I will leave you in peace. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with more. I was doing mime. I was like, I'm a mime artist now. Who am I? I mean, that's very annoying. Anyway, so I just thought, right, I'm about to get my makeup off. So why don't I just show you like what the NYX blush or contour in taupe actually looks like, right? So I do have a tiny bit of contour on but it's only like very subtle. So I'm going to use my favourite contouring brush this is a fake Kat Von D obviously from AliExpress and if I just put a bit of the product on right watch this by the way I'm not very good at contour anyway so that doesn't help things do you see what I mean it just looks way too harsh and it kind of comes off looking a little bit red toned I just I just don't think it works for me if I do the other side do you see what I mean I think maybe from a distance it looks okay and it definitely does give me that kind of defined face situation but up close do you think like, I don't know, I just feel like it looks very, um, I don't know, very kind of intense and you can like see that it's fake, I don't know. I mean, I think it does do a good job of like structuring my face, but I don't know, maybe if I'm going to do a video, right, and I'm going to be like sat back here 
then it would be okay and I could maybe get away with it. But I think if I'm up close, you would just be watching thinking, oh my gosh, what is going on with that one's contour today? I mean, what has she even tried to do? What is she attempting now? I mean, really. So... I'm just attempting a little bit of a nose contour. No. Okay, no. By the way, I never do nose contour. So I don't know why I was even attempting it. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that I could get away with this? Just eliminate the nose. I know the nose, I completely just fed that up. But just... In terms of like the cheek contour, what do you think? Please, I know, please don't take into account that I'm not very good at contouring. And I think this is potentially why Nikki Tutorials can get away with this shade because she's actually really talented and she can just blend it out. And Winata cannot do that. But anyway, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon.